There she goes again, just sitting on her phone. Be a little bit more engaged. What's the deal? You not want to be here? Maybe it's not you, maybe it's me? Is it me? Am I boring? Wait, I'm not boring. I think it's about time we spice things up a bit with the Rito Salsa Verde. Pumpkin spice latte season's coming up. What more can I say? So, apparently, Wi-Fi isn't free. I need money for glasses, man. How many fingers am I holding No, I can see. Want to help young men and women with their first world problems? For a small donation of $300 per month, a millennial of your choice can be given a fighting chance. Adopt a millennial today. Coca-Cola. Valdosta has bottled Coca-Cola since 1897. Valdosta is also the second oldest Coca-Cola bottling organization in the United States. In relation to our uh, 50th anniversary, oftentimes uh, on the big anniversaries there's been a publication, but uh, someone else did it for us this year. Uh, published this year in 2017 is this book called the Coca-Cola Trail. And uh, the author, Mr. Jorgensen from Louisiana, uh, contacted the museum once he learned that uh, Valdosta was the second place in the world to bottle Coca-Cola, not to have Coca-Cola, but to bottle it. His goal was to cover the information on Coca-Cola that's not in Atlanta, which is the big corporate headquarters. But uh, we were very pleased to find out that of all the places he put on the Coca-Cola trail in the United States, chapter number four is Valdosta, Georgia. His information on, of course, Valdosta was sent from this museum because we have, a, have an extensive archives on uh, Coca-Cola here, Valdosta Bottling Company. Now, uh, when all this became, became exposed is when uh, they built a new Coca-Cola bottling plant in the 1950s out on Ashley Street here in Valdosta. And uh, the Coca-Cola Bottler magazine ran a feature on it. And in that magazine from 1897 from the Valdosta Daily Times stated that uh, they were selling Coke in bottles. Now how they began bottling here early was, as you can see this example of the stopper top, they call that the Hutchinson bottling system. Coca-Cola was not real keen on the Hutchinson stopper system because they were afraid there was so much competition in the 1890s for coolers and what few would make it and become the standard brands they were very worried people would get this product home in this stopper bottle and it, and it lose its carbonation and go flat and people say Coca-Cola is not a good product. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, after the place in Mississippi that first began bottling, uh, Holmes and Barber here did become the second place and were most successful at bottling, uh, at bottling Coca-Cola. And just to share, ad was run here that actually shows uh, uh, that 
Holmes and Barber were the first place in Georgia to use the Crown bottling system. Stories along the highway include the composer of Jingle Bells, James Lord Pierpont, living in Savannah, Valdosta, and Quitman. Valdosta being the second place in the world to bottle Coca-Cola and peanuts being an important being important to the South Georgia economy. So it may be said, if you drive US 84 singing jingle, jingle bells while munching on peanuts and sipping Coca-Cola, you're doing something very appropriate to the Wiregrass Georgia Parkway. That's good, I like that. It's like <laughs> eating peanuts and drinking Coke separately. Here at the Humane Society, our mission is to prevent the abuse and placement of animals in stressful situations. We are able to house and shelter animals when local shelters don't have the resources to. With your help and monthly gift, we can band together to help rescue and nurture these animals in need. Please donate now and help these animals get the chance they rightfully deserve. Hey dude, can't run if you can't get any air in those lungs. Why not try Easy Peasy, the miracle rub that opens up your airways. Just rub it on your neck, take a deep breath, and you're good to go. It's Easy Peasy to breathe easy. I think a small angel just walked by. Wow, Andre, you could have just emailed me this instead of destroying trees. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm just ready to be done with the project. Okay, we get to finally have a life again. Yeah. Uh, speaking of lies, is there any significant person missing in yours? What? You know, a boyfriend? Oh, no. I haven't really met anyone that I find intriguing you. Well, there is one girl. She's kind of cute, she's smart, but it kind of sucks though, cause like, we're finished up this project. <laughs> You're so lame. <laughs> but like, for real though, we should definitely hang out. Hmm, I'll think about it. How can you say something like that to her? How can she even hear you at all? Easy, I got the best of you. That's how. What? Control. The best thing you could have had was control of yourself. You lost it. So now I have it. I got the best of you. 